it's going guys, it's Deathmog here. Today we're going to be talking about the rather interesting reveal trailer that we just recently received for FIFA 23, uh, which is going to be um, made by EA Sports. And as you guys can see from this image, we've got Sam Kerr, the Australian um, player who now plays for the Chelsea women's football team. And I'm pretty sure a majority of you will probably know who the person on the right is. Of course, it's Kylian Mbappe, who are both the and these two individuals are on the cover for uh, the cover photo for the brand new game. It's going to be releasing on multiple um, platforms, um, which I'll go into in a bit later on after we've reacted to this trailer. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's get into this, guys. Welcome to the FIFA 23 reveal trailer. I'm Derek Ray and alongside me is Stuart Robson. Thanks Derek. Well you can really feel the sense of anticipation as the players warm up for their big moment on the world stage. And away we go. It comes to Sam Kerr leading the Chelsea attack. Sends it in. Holland! A pure strike! Let's go pitch side where Alex Scott can tell us more. Well, you're seeing hyper motion too in action. More animations than ever before. And more realism every time you step onto the pitch. Well, he's going to wear out the right stick playing like that. They say it's a game of two halves, and you can really feel the intensity building here. Oh, he's mastered that one over the summer. Safe hands there. It's incredible calmness under pressure. Oh, a crunching challenge! Well, that's new. Absolutely brilliant technique, and it feels like there's more goals coming in this one. Oh, Silky from Vinicius. Smart dribbling from Son, weaving into space. What were you thinking on the One World Cup? That's got everyone in a celebratory mood. We're into the final moments now. What else do they have up their sleeves? And it comes to Kerr! And right in stoppage time. Hold on, what's Killian up to here? <laughs> He's in, Stuart! Mbappé! Yeah, God, no. oh, the first frame to the dying embers, it's football everywhere. Welcome to the world's game. Welcome to FIFA 23. See you later. See you later. Okay guys, so I want to know your guys' thoughts of that. Let me know in the comments box down below. <clears throat> Now, as you guys can see, uh, this uh, game will be coming out, from what we understand, on September the 30th, 2022, guys. September the 30th, mark that date in your guys' calendar. Now, I'm just going to go onto their website here, which is uh, got little, just a little bit of info. Uh, as you guys can see, you can pre-order EA Sports FIFA 23 right now on PlayStation, Xbox, the EA app, Stadia, Steam and Epic Games. So I'm just going to go on to, first of all, I'm going to take a look at the PS4 and PS5 edition. <clears throat> so, as you guys can see, FIFA 23 brings the world's game to the pitch with Hypermotion 2 technology. On PlayStation 5, that delivers even more gameplay realism, alongside both the men's and women's FIFA World Cup. The addition of women's club teams, crossplay features and more. So, as you guys can see, you've got three, uh, well, two editions actually. I've uh, got the Standard Edition on PS5, the Standard Edition on PS4, and the Ultimate Edition on PS4 and PS5. So, we're going to see, um, so if you guys pre-order the Ultimate Edition, you'll receive the following. FIFA, uh, limited Time FIFA World Cup FUT or FIFA Ultimate Team Hero Item. Get an untradeable FIFA World Cup FUT Hero Item from November the 11th. And that expires uh, if you want to pre-order the uh, actual Ultimate Edition, you have to do this before August the 22nd in order to get this specific item in the Ultimate Team. Uh, you'll also get three days early access and you get to play from September the 27th instead of the September the 30th. 
um, ES Boss Fever Dual Entitlement, so you'll upgrade to the PS5 version for free if you bought it on PS4. The Wants to Watch Player item, an untradeable FIFA Ultimate Team Wants to Watch Player item available from September the 30th. Again, that's for your Ultimate Team as well. You'll also receive 4,600 FIFA points straight away. FIFA Ultimate Team of the Week 1 player item. The Kili um, a loan item for Kylian Mbappe for 5 matches on the Ultimate Team. The FIFA Ultimate Team Ambassador loan player pick. You can either choose from Davis, son of Vinicius Jr. for 3 FIFA Ultimate Team matches. And career mode homegrown talent. A local youth prospect with world class potential. So that's really interesting there. Now I'm just going to specifically look at the um, side by side comparison for the two editions, of course, the standard and the ultimate. Um, as you guys can see, I've just covered uh, what you get for the ultimate edition. If you just get the standard edition, you'll get the Team of the Week one player item, the Kylian Mbappe lawn item for five matches, FIFA Ultimate Team Ambassador lawn player pick, choosing between Davis Son and Vinicius Jr. for three matches. Ultimate Team and the Career Mode Homegrown Talent. So that basically means you don't get the um, FIFA World Cup player item, the three days early access, the dual entitlement, wants to watch player item, or the FIFA points. Um, so that's really interesting. Uh, personally, if you ask me, I'd probably go for the Ultimate Edition personally. Um, <clears throat> but you can also play FIFA 23 early with an EA Play Pro membership. Now, I'm going to have to double check if I've got that. I'm pretty sure I still do. I'm going to have to confirm that actually. Um, if I do manage to have actually find out if I do actually have it, I'll make I'll get some gameplay on the channel as soon as possible. Uh, so that's all for the PlayStation editions there. Actually, just before I go on to Xbox and everything else, I don't think there's going to be much change uh, to this. Oh, it just changes this bit down here. So... Uh, basically, as you guys just saw, uh, that's basically what you get for the uh, two editions. Just bear that in mind, there, guys. Uh, it's just um, okay. So let's have a quick look at Xbox. I don't think there'll be that much change. Um, no change to that. No change to that. Um, actually, saying that, if I went under pre-order now for PlayStation, because that's what I play on now. The Ultimate Edition is currently at $89.99, or if you have the AA Play membership, you get it for $80.99. Fair enough. Um, standard Edition, as you guys can see, for PS5 is $69.99, for PS4 is $59.99. So you can see how the prices vary for each edition there. Uh, Xbox, let's just see if I can find the right bit here for you guys. For people who are playing on Xbox One, uh, hang on a minute. Yeah. All right. So you can either pre-order for eighty nine ninety nine. That's this is the ultimate edition on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. Or uh, if you get EA Play, you can save nine pounds. So I'll take it down to eighty ninety nine. So that's fair enough. Um, uh, for what have we got here, FIFA twenty three. I think this is the EA app. You can get it for 60 quid on the standard edition there. I think it's just the one edition for this. I'll, let me just double check. I just want to make sure there's definitely no Ultimate Team before. Uh, so, not Ultimate Team. Ultimate Edition, I beg your pardon. Doesn't appear so. I'll have to confirm that. Um, Stadia. You can get pre-order for 79.99 on the Ultimate Edition. Um... Is it just the one order? Oh, hang on a minute. I'm just double checking if uh, that's if it's only showing the one edition or it's in the multiple editions. Yeah, so it's just the one edition here, guys. Seventy nine ninety nine. If you decide to purchase this on Stadia, on Steam, um, you can get pre ordered this for fifty nine ninety nine on the standard, seventy nine ninety nine on the ultimate. So same ex um, exclusions apply on that uh, with the other ver with the other ver um, ver versions, if you will. The ultimate edition. This is on Epic Games's website, uh, so you can get it pre-purchasable for seventy nine ninety nine. I'm thinking that's for the ultimate edition. Yeah, 
I think I'm just trying to see if this is standard edition. Yeah, fifty nine ninety nine on the standard there as well. So, um. I want to know what you guys' thoughts are of this. Let me know in the comments box down below. I'm keen to hear what you guys' uh, thoughts and views are on this. Uh, I must make sure you guys also stay tuned to the EA Sports FIFA Twitter feed for any up to date news. I will cover that as much as I possibly can here on the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you don't upload. Subscribe button if you're new. Hit the like button if you're excited. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Until then.